So I'm going to give you a bonus tip for the Rotex engine. If for some reason it's running rough, doesn't start, whatever, the first thing to do is very easy, very simple, and it's a big problem for these carbureted engines here, is check the floats. Rotex has had a problem since 2012 about floats that absorb fuel and sink and create problems in the carburetor. When the floats sink, the fuel level goes up. So what, what happens is you get a, a bad mixture in your carburetors. And so that's not good. Very simple and easy process. And so I'm gonna just show you right here real quick how to do that. That's the first thing you check. And after you've made sure your floats are good, then you can go on to some other troubleshooting as necessary. Okay, so let's dig in and look at those floats. So it's actually really simple. You can just move this wire up. See how we're moving this wire up? Okay, and then we're gently bringing this down. getting this float bowl out of here. Now at first glance here we can just look at this and see how both the floats are about even, even right here. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll see sometimes you can get a, a, a float that's sunk down quite a bit. Here we can see they're about it, they're evenly spaced, we got the, the right amount of fuel in here. That's the first thing to check. Quite simple to do, you basically just take the floats out of here, dry them off, And that fuel's going to evaporate off of there pretty quick. Got your little scale here. You put both your floats on your scale. Both of those are supposed to be below seven grams. Now here, both these are 7.3 grams, so these are actually out of tolerance. Brand new, 3.7 for one, 3.6 for the other. So here we have a brand new aircraft and the floats are out of tolerance so these need to be replaced. I like to have my floats down around 3 grams a piece, 3.6, 3.7 at least they're even um, but here we have two floats that are out of, out of tolerance. So here I've got a bag mark for my floats that are good Five point five. They even feel a little bit. Seven point five. What a difference here, huh? So three point one, two point seven, two point nine. 2.9, so these are good floats. We're gonna look at my, I've got good floats marked in this bag, so we're gonna see if those are all good. 6.1, 3.1, try that again, 2.9, Three point oh, so here we got another set. So here we've brand new aircraft. Floats are out of tolerance, and we can see here's the float boneyard. Bad floats. I got thirty floats here that have been bad over the years. There's your proof that the floats do go bad, and will provide bad operation for that aircraft. At 50 bucks a float and four floats for 912. You can see how that can get irritating fast as far as having to replace these floats. Besides flyrotex.com, we've also got Rotex Owner. This is another great resource for, for all kinds of stuff. And here we're looking at our float mandatory Rotex service bulletin by the periodic check of floats. Now, one of the things we have here is that they go in and talk about an, another method of using a, sh a syringe to inject fuel. Uh, so you don't have to take off the carburetors. I find it easier just to go right to the measure the floats themselves. Um, but this other method of injecting fuel in here with a certain measured amount of fuel, that might be better for you if you cannot 
easily get to the carburetors and take the bowls off. Sometimes they're a lot harder on some of the engine installations to just drop the bowls. So there you go, another tip for checking the operation of the Rotax engines a simple way. And this is always the first thing I do if there's any problem of the engine not running right, is check those floats first and then go from there.